So in the last video, I was able to show you how to subtract fractions using visuals. While that was very helpful, sometimes that is not always possible. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to subtract fractions um, using your times table or finding the least common multiple. So like in the previous videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at my denominators which are two and four. So I'm gonna circle the two, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look all the way across and notice all of the multiples of two. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look down here to four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start looking for numbers that two has in common with four. I don't have to go very far to see that they both share a four. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start finding my common multiples. So I'm gonna go straight up here and I see a two and that lets me know that two times two is four. So that lets me know that both of these are going to be a four. And what I have to ask myself now is what did I do to turn this two into a four? Well, using my multiplication chart, I can look up again and I can notice, oh, I multiplied by two. So if I multiplied the denominator by two to get four, that lets me know that I also have to multiply the denominator or numerator by two because what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And one times two is two. So now I have an equivalent fraction and I now know that one half or one over two is, the same, is equivalent or the same as two over four. So I'm done with that one for a moment. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at um, this one over four. And what I could do is I could just know that because um, my denominator did not change, my numerator will also not change. But I'm just gonna show you guys why it didn't change. So again, I'm gonna look up here to the top and I'm gonna see this one. And this lets me know that four times one is equal to four. So I would multiply by one to make four times one equals four. And then of course, what I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. And I know that one times one is equal to one. So now because my denominators are the same and I have made both of my fractions equivalent, I can go ahead and subtract. So I remember that when I subtract fractions, um, my denominator does not change, so that will remain a four. And I also know, oops, I just saw a silly mistake I made. That should be a subtraction sign. Anyways, I see that, I also know that two minus one is equal to one. So that lets me know that one half minus one fourth is equal to one fourth. And I was able to figure that out by making one over two into two over four, and these are equivalent fractions. And then one over four did not change because it has a common denominator, because four is their common multiple and a common denominator.